Welcome back to you special darling children. Today our topic is dog bites. Dogs are everywhere, so preventing dog bites is a necessity. Although some dogs are friendlier than others, any dog is capable of biting, regardless of its breed or size. Even the nicest dog may snap or bite when it's injured or afraid. To prevent a dog bite, you must understand why a dog will bite. A dog will also give you signals that he is about to bite by growling, showing his teeth, charging, his hair stands up and his tail goes down. Why does a dog bite? There are many reasons. Let's read through this. A dog may bite to defend itself, its territory or a member of its pack. A mother dog fiercely protects her puppies as well. Startling a dog by waking it up or suddenly approaching it from behind can provoke it to bite. Running away from a dog even during play can also provoke a bite. A dog could be fearful and many bite and may bite anyone who comes close. The dog may have been abused or abandoned so it is frightened. Injury or illness are common reasons for dogs to bite. If a dog isn't feeling well or is in pain, it may not even want to be touched. Treating a dog bite. You can provide first aid for a dog bite at home, but it's very important to see a doctor especially if it is an unfamiliar dog. Dog bites should be treated immediately to reduce risk of infection. What to do when you have a dog bite? Slow the bleeding with a clean cloth. Hold the cloth on the bite to stop the bleeding. Apply antibiotic cream if you have it. Wrap the wound in a sterile bandage. Keep the wound bandage and see your doctor. Activity two, vocabulary extension. Do you know what these words mean? Pack of dogs, fiercely, startling, provoke, unfamiliar, Sterile bandage. Mm. Pack of dogs. It's a group of dogs where some are more respected than others. Fiercely, a very strong manner. Startling, causing a fright or surprise. Provoke, to make very cross or stir up. Unfamiliar, different, strange, unknown. Sterile bandage is a clean dressing or pad. Activity three, how to interact with dogs. Never try to approach or touch an unfamiliar dog without first asking the owner's permission. Never approach a dog that's eating, sleeping, or caring for puppies. Don't approach, touch, or attempt to move an injured dog. When you're meeting an unknown dog, allow the dog to come to you. Crouch down or turn to the side. Let it sniff your hand before you pet it. If you're cornered by a dog, remain still and avoid eye contact. Never run or scream. When the dog stops, Paying attention to you, slowly back away. If you're knocked over by a dog, 
fall to your side in a fetal position. That's when you roll into a small ball and cover your head and face. Remain very still and calm. More fun. Dogs are man's best friend, but you have to be careful. Here is a fun art activity that you can do. Make a dog face by folding a square piece of paper into a triangle. Fold the paper in half by folding the top corner to the bottom corner. Let's make the ears. Fold both corners of the triangle down at an angle like you see in the picture. Unless you want a pointy chin, fold the bottom corner back also. Give your dog a face by drawing the eyes and nose. Hope you've learnt a lot about dogs this lesson, boys and girls. See you next time.